Okay, everybody, it's coffee time. So, how do you make coffee? You need some gear. So we need some gear, but most importantly, we need coffee. So we look in the snack drawer. We've got like store coffee beans. You can comment on how effective that is. And then we like this kind of coffee. So, in this place. That's pretty good. Dark roast, that's the key. If you want coffee, you need dark roast. So then you take it and you put it in your 20 year old coffee grinder that you bought for 800 bucks. And you've had, you've changed the blades twice and it just doesn't give up. There you go. And you've got it on a fine grind, hard to see, but if you look here, you can see the, hopefully you can see the fineness of the grain, it's like powder. So, almost like cocoa, right, very fine. So normally, coffee that finely ground would be, you know, difficult for an AeroPress. So that's what we use. It's the, you want a fresh cup of coffee. And then we have a boiler here, and we boil. I like it at this temperature. Different people like different temperatures, but I like it like this. And then we're gonna put the coffee in. You know, cleanliness is not next to godliness. It's, you know, overrated. So just go with the flow. And I do three pulls here, but you can do what you want. And then we unlock it, go to slow mode, and then dispense. And you take it to the line that you want. here okay so the action of the jet the water going in provides some stirring action but not enough so we're just getting our filters so we'll put the filter in nice fit and then so this is the upside down whatever okay so normally in a coffee this fine the aeropress wouldn't be able to you wouldn't be able to handle it because it just doesn't it's like insane how much pressure you have to put to get it through this filter so you see this is this really fine grind right so we're just stirring it a little bit get it You don't need to wash or you know waste stir sticks when this gentle stirring action is sufficient. And then we can bring it down and just okay. And the tricky part, one hand I guess. Never been a one hander before. Okay. So the coffee is gonna come out. Okay, so this is the interesting part. So normally you try to push here, but it's really hard because all that coffee is so fine. If you notice, this is where the plunger is and this is where the coffee is. So there's this gap of air that got created when we put it down. So it's the air that's actually pushing the coffee through. And that's where this comes in. So this is some, you know, metal transformer thingy and I'm gonna put this on top of that again, one-handed, because that's, it is really heavy, so I'm trying to use my, so, there we go, so, is this 
this is totally normal. This is, you know, sane. This is what any normal person would do when faced with their desire to make a strong cup of espresso coffee, they would go to these links. Because if it's not, if it doesn't, what's that rule? If it's crazy, but it works, it's fine. Or it goes in the rule book. I can't remember how it goes, but you can see it's actually, it's actually gone down from where it was. So this huge piece of metal, and there you go. It just went down. So now we remove carefully. <sighs> Normally I use two hands. I am a weakling, so. Then we remove the, let it drip a little bit. So the last piece of equipment that's really important is this double walled, you know, stainless steel cup. So to keep your beverage nice and steaming hot. So there's the, I can't remember how it goes, but it's like, how do you like your coffee? And then insert your favorite dark joke in there. Hot and black and whatever, and bitter. So that is how you make coffee. So be sure to check out my other hilarious videos.